Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. As you can see, we have here a new topic which is yung titawag natin arithmetic sequence. Again, kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe para updated ka sa ating future uploads. So before we start doing the arithmetic sequence thing, is i-define muna natin what is a sequence. By definition, a sequence is a set of things, usually numbers, that are arranged in orders. So we have here 5, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. And these numbers are arranged, at ang tawag natin dito ay isang sequence. Now, yung tatlong dots, na makikipansin nyo, it indicates na yung ating sequence o yung numbers natin ay continuous. So, itong ating 5, this is the first term. By the way, yung terms natin, or yung term na tinatawag natin, these are the elements of a sequence. At yung sequence natin, ang kanyang elements ay 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. So, infinite po yan. So, the first term is yung 5 natin. And then, the second term is yung 10. Third term ay yung 15. At yung fourth term ay yung 20. As you go, go along with the sequence, malalaman mo na yung fifth term niya is yung 25. So, that's it for a simple definition of sequence. Again, a sequence is a set of things that are arranged in orders. Okay? So, let's move on to arithmetic sequence. Here is the main topic today. By definition, an arithmetic sequence is a sequence of numbers which increases or decreases by a constant amount each term. And then one thing na dapat yung tandaan about arithmetic sequence is yung formula na a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. In which, yung a sub 1 natin, it stands for the first term of the arithmetic sequence. Yung n natin is the number of terms in a sequence. Yung d in that formula ay yung tinatawag nating common difference o yung distance ng bawat term sa isang sequence. Later on, I will teach you on how to use this formula in finding the nth term of a given sequence. Okay? Now, in this part of the video, we have your examples in which you are asked to verify whether the following sequence are arithmetic. So, ang pinaki natin dyan is to find the common difference. So, we have here the common difference. So, ano ba yung way para makuha natin yung common difference ng bawat number? Ang sabi doon, uh, to find the common difference, you need to subtract the first term from the second term. So, we have here 8 minus 3. So, the answer is 5. And then to get the other common difference, subtract mo lang yung second term from the third term. We have 13 minus 8, in which their difference is equal to 5. And then, you need to subtract the fourth term, 18, from the third term. Kung mapansin nyo, the answer is still 5, and so on. Kapag trinay nyo pa yung ibang terms niyan, still makakuha nyo pa rin na common difference is 5. Since yung differences ay pare-parehas, therefore, this one is an example of arithmetic sequence. Okay? So, let's move on to item number 2. As you can see, yung number 1 natin from 3, 8, 13, 15, 18, and so on is increasing. Now, paano naman tong 2 natin? Is it a... Uh, an example of arithmetic sequence, though ang numbers niya ay decreasing, 12, 10, 8, and 6. Doon natin malalaman yan kapag kinuha na natin yung common difference. 
or yung D natin. Again, ang sequence natin, yung second term, 10. Ay, sorry, yung first term, I subtract from the second term, which is 10 minus 12. That will give you negative 2. And then, yung second term is a subtract from the third term. Yung, second, yung third term mo ay 8, so minus 10 is equal to negative 2. And then, yung third term, I subtract from the fourth term. Your fourth term is 6 minus 8 is equal to negative 2. And as you go along with the sequence, pare-pare sa makakuha mong difference. And as you have noticed, yung ating common difference ay pare-parehas kasi common nga siya. Therefore, item number 2 is an example of arithmetic sequence. That's how easy you're going to verify whether the sequence is arithmetic. Ang kailangan mo lang is mahanap yung common difference. Now, in this part of the video, ang target naman natin is to find the common difference and give the next three terms of the sequence. So, kanina, tinuro ko sa inyo kung paano mahanap yung common difference. So, gagawin nyo din natin siya. We need to find the common difference. So, ang step natin is ganito lang. Subtract lang natin. Magiging 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. And then, yung 7 and 4, that is 7 minus 4, that will give you 3. Tapos, yung ating... 10 minus 7, that will give you also the answer of 3. At kung mapansin nyo, tuloy-tuloy siya at pare-pares lang. Therefore, the common difference or your D is equal to 3. And since yung ating common difference is 3, pwede na natin malaman yung ating next 3 terms. So if you have 1, 4, 7, 10, the next term or the fifth term is 13 mag lang tayo ng 3 from 10. And then 13 plus 3, your 6th term is 16. And then your 7th term is 19. That's it. Okay? The, the next 3 terms are 13, 16, and 19. So let's move on to the next example. We have 17 and 13. So yung common difference na hanapin natin. You have 17 minus 13 will give you 4 tapos 21 minus 17 that is also 4 and then 25 minus 21 that will give you 4 therefore the common difference of this sequence is 4 and then we are asked to find or to give the next three terms from 25 the next three terms are 29, 33, and 37. Yan yung next three terms ng ating second sequence. And now, let's move on to item number 3. At huwag kayo makonfuse kasi meron ng negative, 0, and a positive number. Still, you need to do uh, the thing na ginagawa natin para maharap yung common difference. Parang ganito lang yung movement natin. So, you have to find the common difference of the third sequence, that is negative 3 minus negative 6, that will give you the answer of 3. And then, from 0 to negative 3, so 0 minus negative 3, that will give you a difference of 3. And then from, neg from 3 to 0, you have 3 minus 0, that will give you 3. Therefore, the common difference is 3. And gamit yung common difference na yan, mahanap mo na yung next 3 terms ng ating sequence. So, if the last sequence is, six, is 3, just add 3. That will give you 6, followed by 9 and 12. Therefore, the next 3 terms of that sequence is 6, 9, and 12. Okay? Now, in this part of the video, we are asked to find the indicated term in each sequence. So we have here number 1. The given sequence here is 6, 8, 10, and 12. And then we are asked 
to find the 14th term of the sequence. In other words, you're asked to find a sub 14 or the 14th term of the sequence. So in this case, we will be using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Ito yung formula na binigay ko sa inyo from the start of the video. So in using this formula, you need to figure out what is the value of a sub 1, what is your n, and what is your d, which is the common difference. So your a sub 1 is none other than the first term of the sequence. Ito yung ating unang term, which is 6. And then for the second term, uh, sorry, for the value of n, it is the number here. O yung kung pang ilan yung iyong term na hinahanap. So, since we are asked to find the 14th term, ang ating n is 14. And then for the common difference, we need to subtract the numbers here. So, you have 8 minus 6, that is 2. And then 10 minus 8, which is also 2. And then you have 12 minus 10, which is 2. So that will give you 2 as your common difference. So this is 2. Then after completing the value of a sub n, a sub 1, n, and d, you can use now the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. So ito magiging a sub 14 because we're intended to find a sub 14 or the 14th term and then substitute the value of a sub 1 which is 6 plus the quantity of your n 14 minus 1 times your common difference 2. Then simplifying this part of the equation, you have a sub 14 is equal to 6 plus 13 times 2. Okay? So your a sub 14 is equal to 6 plus 26, right? You have 26 because 13 times 2 is 26 and then simplify the right side of the equation. Ang makukuha mo ngayon ay a sub 14 is equal to 32. Ibig sabihin, the, third, the 14th term of the given arithmetic sequence, 14th term is none other than 32. Yan yung way on how to use the given formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. So we have here 9, 14, 19, 24 and then we are asked to find the third term using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Your first term is equal to 9. Your second term, oh sorry, your n is equal to 10. Because we need to find the 10th term. Then your common difference, subtract natin, 14 minus 9, that will give you 5. Right? 14 minus 9 is 5. So the common difference is 5. And then substitute the variable, the given formula. You need to have here a sub 10 is equal to 9 plus the quantity of 10 minus 1 times 5. Simplifying this equation or this formula, a sub 10 is equal to 9 plus 9 times 5. And then a sub 10 is equal to 9 plus 45 your a sub 10 or the 10th term of that sequence in number 2 is none other than 54. Okay? Now, let's move on to item number 3. We have here negative 30, negative 40, negative 50, and negative 60. So, using the formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Your first term, a sub 1 is equal to negative 30. 
your n is equal to 20 because we are asked to find the 20th term. Your d is equal to negative 40 minus negative 30. That is negative 10. This is our common difference. So we have negative 10. Right? So substituting those variables to the given formula, ang kailangan nyo lang ay gawin tong a sub 20 is equal to negative 30 plus the quantity of your n which is 20 minus 1 times negative 10. Simplify natin yung equation. You can get a raised to 20, sorry, a sub 20 is equal to negative 30 plus the quantity of 19 times negative 10. Simplifying the equation, a sub 20 is equal to negative 30 plus negative 190. Okay? And then, ibig sabihin nito, ang 20th term ng ating given sequence is none other than negative 220. Okay? So, I hope na itong video natin is nakatulong sa inyo in learning the concept of arithmetic sequence, its definition, how to find the common difference, how to verify whether the given sequence is arithmetic, and finding the, n the nth term of a given sequence. Using the formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. So, maraming salamat sa inyong pakikinig at pananood. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming salamat sa inyo. God bless.